In this video, we're speaking about home insurance for that renovation project that you're about to undertake. I'm Randall Dollar, a licensed real estate agent, and I'm here to help you navigate the world of New York City's real estate market. In this video, we're speaking about insurance. A lot of us take it lightly, but it's something that's really important to us especially when you're buying a townhouse that needs renovation because there will be sold quite a few of those I know in the last year mm -hmm. and especially like information about your condo or co-op that also needs renovation but George what do people need to know especially you you're out in the market you want to buy a townhouse it's an SRO it needs a lot of work you know so you have to get the whole renovation process started absolutely what do we need to know well from an insurance perspective you you know we need to understand uh, the, the the value of the home in terms of um, the, the structure, you know, uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to townhouses, you know, obviously you want to consider how many stories and how many, and, and, and you know, what it's, what's, what's the um, cost to rebuild, um, you know, from, from, from like, if, if there's a complete, um, let's say fire or some, some sort of physical damage that kind of tears up the whole home, we need to understand that value. Um, and then from there, you, you know, how much renovation work are you, are you, are you doing? Right. Um, you know, if you get over a certain amount of renovation work, mm -hmm. it becomes a situation where there's a builder's risk, whereas if there's, a, if there's a mesh between the contractors and the homeowner. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, making sure that uh, you understand that in order to kind of start to start kind of talking and building up your insurance uh, limits, right? So you have uh, three sort of uh, considerations that you need to uh, consider when you um, when, when, when you look for homeowners insurance. Um, you know, how much liability uh, or limits are, are you looking for, right? right. Um, you know, again, we, 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 I mention this all the time, we recommend that you at least have a million dollars right. worth of coverage, uh, depending on how big your property is, um, and two million aggregate, right? And then you need to understand um, the personal property property content that you're looking to cover for. You know, to the extent that uh, you you're you're living in there, you know, you want to make sure all your content is covered to the right. extent that there's a complete uh, there's a complete kind of um, fire or, or something to wipe out wipe out your home. And then obviously the the, the structure of right. the building. Um, and I want to you know, point out too that there's a there's a, when, when it comes to co-ops and condos and towns, there's, there's, there's certain other considerations as well. Let's say, for instance, um, you know, mo most, let me backtrack, most um, condos, co-ops follow the three sort of uh, uh, line items that you need in your homeowner's package in terms of insurance. Uh, but with, co with condos, co-ops, you know, there's, 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 a, there's the piece that's really important, which is the, um, the loss assessment piece, right? Loss assessment. Loss yeah. assessment piece. That piece... Um, covers the insured to the extent that there's an assessment for the whole entire building, right? right. Um, people don't realize how important that is, that is you, know, important. you know, because if there's a big claim out there uh, and the, uh, the whole unit is assessed, you know, that, that could be a significant hit on, on the homeowner's um, pockets, right? If they don't have that loss assessment piece. Great, so there's assurance for the assessment. Exactly. Does it have to reach a certain number? No, you you pick, you know in, in in formalizing your package for the for the right. the, the, the insurance, um, you pick how what the limits you want. You know, we 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 start at I believe uh, you know, four thousand dollars, and we could go up um, with the farmer's part policy. But you know, right. each carry has a different uh, right. limit, right? But you know, we have very favorable limits when it comes to our condo co-op programs. That's really good to know. Yeah. A lot of people, as you said, don't know that. Yeah, exactly. And another thing I want to point out with the condo co-op program is. Um, the, the, the sewage piece, the, the, the backup sewage piece, right? To the extent that, you know, you have a neighbor that, um, you know, let's say, you know, has his uh, sink running and then all of a sudden he leaves and um, next thing you know, your, your, your apartment below yeah. is flooded, right? Are you covered, right? In, in certain cases you are, but in certain cases you're not. Um, but you need, you need to make sure when you, um, you know, discussing your insurance product with your broker or agent, you want to make sure you add that piece to make sure that the, the, if that this situation does happen, your personal property within your, bill, your, your your condo unit is covered. Right? right. And also one of the things I also wanted to point out with condo co-op coverage is um, that that building structure piece. Right. Um, this covers the, the outer walls of your unit. Right. You know, our the condo co-op and renters programs. Um. You know, in, in the various different insurance uh, carriers out there, really they they're really designed to um, cover your personal property content and liability issues within your unit, within right. the four, four walls of your unit. But uh, but you know, some carriers offer that additional piece. Actually, I would say most carriers offer that additional piece. 
but you need to understand that, right? That additional piece, which is that building coverage piece. This covers the outside structures of your, you know, of your, 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 your unit to the extent that there's, there's, a, there's something that would have happened to your walls or, you know, for whatever reason, you know. Um, in addition, if there's a complete uh, fire in your unit, you also get additional assurance that, you know, you have some additional coverage in, 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 that, in that, that four walls. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Really good information to have. And especially when it goes back, well, going back to townhouses, um, when you have contractors in there, you want to make sure you're covered for that as well, right? For Absolutely. Liability. Absolutely. Yeah, so contractors, when it comes to um, they say the, the Buildings Risk Program, which I, I, I want to throw out there, that we actually have a great partnership with U.S. Assured, who, um, you know, put, we, we, put, we place all those, those sort, of, sort of Builders Risk Programs through them. Um, now, with the, you know, the U.S. Assured Program, uh, there's a particular interest in first how much of um, the, the renovation is is in percentage to the overall amount of the building, mm -hmm. the cost of the rebuilding the building, and then also um, what who are the contractors, how experienced they are. Mm -hmm. You know, because the worst thing you want to do is get a contract that's not a contract that's not experienced or not even licensed. Yeah. You know that 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 yeah. is that is a big issue. That's a, you know, that's a big problem, and also insured, right? You know, we want to make sure the contracts that you have are are insured as well. Um, and w you know, with that, you know, you want to understand your liability issues with that, right? Um, so to the extent that uh, you know you you have a, uh, a particular a person come into your home and, and step on a nail and right. you know, decides to file suit, who are they filing suit against? You or right. the contractor? You want to make sure you understand your, your insurance policy, your general liability piece, to make sure you're fully protected if that case, if that would happen. Absolutely. And what are some of the more the frequently asked questions for you know first time buyers, um, even with townhouses needing renovations or so? Right. Um, it's really much how much insurance would you do you think they would 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 they need? All right. Um, you know, and that that question could be answered. You know, sometimes by the bank. You know, the bank would justify how right, much so insurance you would exactly. depending on if you get a mortgage or not. And sometimes it's just um, you're going through our system and and, and you know finding how um, how much is to rebuild your home. You know, um, right. we have tools that that help you get to that level. And then also, um, you know, with past experiences, we know that um, uh, you know. Based on past claims, that a uh, million dollars of liability for the general liability piece would be something that we would highly recommend. You know, ultimately, it comes. It, it's it's you know it's 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 our job to recommend, but you know if, if you don't if you decide not to follow it, you know and then you know that's another issue. It's all good, but I'm we're happy to know that you're here, and it's all about building your power team. To, you know, give you the packages that you need, give you all the information you need in making informed decisions when buying a home, especially a townhouse, or as you said, cloud of co-op. Absolutely. Just a little few things that we probably didn't know before. Absolutely. But thanks for being here for us uh, with Farmers Insurance and, and guiding us through this process. Definitely. Thank you for viewing. Visit my website for more information or subscribe to my YouTube channel.